Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your pastor, Yeti. And so I ask also, I give you my apologies that I could come to my broadcast because of the business of this Christmas season, Advent season. There's a lot going on then, but I will make it up to all of you. So I'm going to give you day 22, day 23, and day 24, so that we are back on track. So may you be blessed in this new from heaven, true three truths behind Christmas. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Matthew, second chapter, verse 6. Now the second chapter of Matthew is giving us the story of the birth of the infant Lord. This story is a wonder story of all lands and all ages. It is also told by Luke. It is said to be, and I believe it is, the most beautiful story in human language. It is beautiful but terrible as well, for there are three unexpressed facts that explain the chapter, facts that are not here but that explain it. They are the setting for the chapter. They are that which go before and go after and make it intelligibly to our intellect, intelligent minds. There are these three things, the total moral and spiritual disaster that had engulfed the human race. Now, we cannot think of the coming of our Savior to the world apart from this, or think of rescue ship going out to rescue those who had not been shipwrecked, or a doctor sent to a place where there had been no accident or epidemic. This was a rescue, and that is the second unexpressed fact here. This is the story of a rescue not a rescue team of one who came along to rescue mankind and thus fulfill God's ancient purpose and sovereign grace. The sending of a rescuer, safe is the word we use, and it means the same thing, to save the world and to redeem men who had been caught in this disaster and engulfed in this who. And the third is the black malice, the cold fury of the one we call Satan, the destroyer. You and I, all we human beings, we are adept at the business of pretending one side of a question, presenting, I mean, on one side of a question. And all through this rather happy Christmas season, there is but one side presented. It is the side of the golden bells and the angels who said, Peace! on earth, good will to man. But I say these unexpected facts make all this inte intelligibly to mortal man. The evil, the fury loosed against hum humankind and to humankind against God. For it was not the devil's fury or anger at mankind that caused him to be the devil he is but it was his anger with God. And since mankind was made in the image of God, and God has expressed and did express his great love for mankind, then it was to get at God that the devil attacked the race of beings that God had loved the most. And so we have in this chapter, and I want you to think of the entire chapter, not just one text out of it. Events that are solemn and fearful and breathtaking. We have a view of life inside and outside, a view of the human race, of the religious world, 
and of the irreligious world, of the Jewish world and of the pagan world, of the temple and of the armory, of the priest and of the soldier, all here. And we have this view of yesterday and an explanation of today and a preview of tomorrow. There is work to do, my beautiful people. I challenge you to study what I just have said. May the Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yali. Bye.